Tomorrow, ISU will honor Larry Bird and the entire 78-79 men's basketball team. They went to the NCAA championship and lost to Michigan State in the title game. That championship game is the only game that team lost that season. One woman helped introduce Bird to the world. Dana Winkleplack shares her story. Marsha Murphy is a nurse at Paris Community Hospital, but long before she helped patients, she helped others cheer on the Indiana State men's basketball team. She was a princess who worked alongside ISU's mascot. The noise from the crowds was deafening, especially, you know, when we're like coming from behind and you see Larry do his three-point shots. While the Valley knew about Larry Bird back in the fall of 1977, much of the rest of the world did not. Then Sports Illustrated put him on the cover. Murphy and a cheerleader were chosen by an ISU staff member to help. I was shocked <laughs> and excited and just was like called my mother, my father, just said let him know right away what was going on and everybody was excited. Murphy flew with Bird to Chicago for that photo shoot. I think Larry said he'd been squirrel hunting that morning but didn't get anything. <laughs> Murphy says they took several pictures, but she still Share was not Larry. sure they would be used, but then. I believe I got a phone call from my mother and said, well, you got on it. <laughs> Murphy says she felt her popularity increased after the photo shoot, and it's been nice to talk about the event and remember that fun time over the last 40 years. In Paris, with local news that matters, Dana Winkleplek, WAWV. Maybe you're like me, but somewhere I have a copy of that magazine. Murphy says she did not stay in touch with Bird, but she enjoyed the excitement of watching his career over the years.